Hey there, folks. What I have here is the original 5 port PoE edge router. Now, this router is a couple of years old, but it still rocks. So, why is this important? Well, this can deliver PoE, that's power over Ethernet cable to devices. Now this only delivers 24 volt passive. Why is that important? Well, pretty much only ubiquity devices work with 24 4 volt passive and that's their camera gear and access points such as lights and long range ones. The Pros and the HD require 48 volts so this cannot support natively a pro device or an HD device but for example last week um, I deployed a network where you needed two injectors with 24 volts because I put in two lights in a place I could have used this I could have completely eliminated ER light and two power injectors so it would be just this device and two access points. Now to open this, there were three screws in the back. After you remove the screws, the whole board is revealed. Now why is this important? Well, we're going to try to replace the USB inside that came with the device. After doing some research, I found out that there's actually a ton of them that became faulty after a couple of years apparently they fixed it later on but I was stuck with one of those that failed on me about a year ago so I just never had the time to actually go on and fix it but never mind that right now I did some research and I actually can't take any credit for this because people have done this uh, in many different ways I suppose what I'm going to do is to show you the easiest way to update the firmware on one of these USB drives if you are lucky to find one that's working for you. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, let's remove the screws from the back. Now there's this tool, the Craftsman screwdriver. I honestly really love this tool. It is one of the best tools in my arsenal. And why do I say that? Well, it, it's because it really is quite something. Uh, it's magnetic, naturally, like most tools these days are. You can magnetize the tips, but it has this bright LED on top of the tip so when you're working in tight corners in dark places that really comes in as a lifesaver and if you have very precision needing screwdriver sets this would do it and uh, it feels really good in hand it's built solid so there's my little spiel to my screwdriver anyway let's pop the cover I'm getting sidetracked okay here's the board as you can see I've already took out the original USB and replaced it with SanDisk Cruiser now this is a 16 gigabyte SanDisk Cruiser that I had laying around it was 2.0 don't try to put in the 2.0 uh, 3.0 USB inside it's not going to work uh, you have to find a USB 2.0 that works I just happened to find one that's 16 gigs. You actually ne only need 4 gigs. But hey. Uh, so let's get to how actually we can go in and uh, apply the image uh, in Windows because that's what most people have. 
you can do this in Linux, which I would prefer, by doing DD. Uh, but in Windows, it honestly is the easiest thing you can do. So, including in, included in description below, you can find links to the image file, to the original poster whose ideas I stole, and to the community discussion that's about seven miles long. So, all right. So, what I'm doing here is I am recording an image onto the USB. Included in the links below, you will find the image 1.9 that I use personally, and it, uh, I also downloaded this image USB by Passmark Software. It's a free USB image writer. Uh, you could use other ones, but this one seems to work fine. And is the easiest thing ever. After downloading your image file from the first link below, export it, unzip it, and then select it here in, uh, when you browse for an image. Select your USB. I'm using the 16 gig Sandy's Cruiser in my first attempt and then just click right and it's going to go through its motions and it's going to write it out to the USB supposedly right after that all you have to do is plug in the USB into the Edge Router PoE or Edge Router Lite because they share the firmware and uh, pop the cover back on and start it up it's supposed to start this one anyway in 190 as default so you would go through the motions of logging in and doing UBNT UBNT and that's pretty much it so I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit okay so here we are I've plugged in the USB and I'm trying to get into the edge router PoE now I've already was able to log in once and set a new admin, of course, and uh, go through the basics of setting up the network. So you can do this easily in the dashboard once you log in by using the wizards. That's the tab on the right side. As you can see, it comes up and it's working fine it's running off the USB that we just put in and the firmware is 190 the wizards are on the right side all you have to do is um, highlight what type of settings would you like to, for the wizard to set for you up usually it's WAN to LAN to and it's easy as a pie you select the HCP or whatever your internet connection is you enable the firewall and you you probably want to bridge your LAN interfaces into single network. Um, if you're if you have static IP you would select that here or um, point to point over Ethernet do that here or um, uh, internet connection on, on VLAN whatever the case might be and then um, you can create a new admin user which I highly recommend and you give it a name and a password and you click apply and um, that's pretty much it the wizard will run through its motions and create a network for you so if you've never used Edge Max it is easy and it is not completely user unfriendly so you can use GUI so if you're afraid to use the CLI you don't ever have to use it uh, you can completely get away by using GoE here and uh, actually set up your network really fairly fast and if you happen to buy one of these for your home and you don't know what to do either Edge Router Lite or PoE or whichever one all you would have to do is go through a wizard and it would set up masquerading for you and you could probably check off um, 
UPnP and then you would leave it alone. You never ever have to do anything after that if you're afraid of it, if you don't know what you're doing. But uh, uh, this offers you a ton of options. I mean, uh, custom ports, QoS, VPN, PoE, uh, DPI, um, routing, and it is quite a router. Uh, it'll do a decent job of routing so any LAN network for small businesses this was more than adequate to handle so as you can see here everything is operating perfectly fine I mean if you want to set up the PoE pull up the interface and uh, set it from off to on and that's that click save and Bob's your uncle really uh, I'm, I'm very happy that it I was able to revive this on the first try although I read up for about an hour before I started it still uh, gives you warm and happy feeling that you've ac accomplished something that's actually worthwhile anyway folks thanks a lot for watching this uh, if you liked the video hit like maybe su subscribe as well and uh, I'll see you on the next one we're going to keep bringing these videos to life that could be of interest to community. So if you have a specific idea that's tied to the networking, uh, let me know and uh, I might actually do some stuff based on that. Thanks a lot again and have a great day and uh, stay warm out there.